Good evening, everyone. It's really today we're going to be talking about the new bombs and armor piercing bombs added as part of the newest update. So, this is something I typically do when something new is added, such as engine fire extinguishers in, in that case. But of course, we're going to be talking about bombs today. So, what new bombs have we had added that kind of put things on the map, so to speak? So, a lot of vehicles in the game, including the PPJ, which is why I'm using it first have had some bomb loads added to them, which I think is very useful. And the PBJ, after 10, nearly 11 years, has finally had its bomb load fixed to where it can carry the same as a B-25 like it should. And it also can carry a 2,000 pounder, which is quite nice. But we're here to discuss the free 1,000s. This is a huge change for the PPJ because obviously the PPJ could not kill bases originally, but obviously now it can, which really helps it. Like the PPJ has had it, well, had the short end of the stick when it comes to a lot of things, both in damage model and its bomb load. It's still missing its rockets because it could mount HVARs under the wings, outboard the engines, but the fact that we've actually got this now. Just gives the PBJ a bit of a better run, you know, like we can at least do a bit more. You'll notice I'm not bringing up these because, well, we're going to talk about that in a moment. So, yeah, pretty happy with this change, that's for sure. Like, aircraft that have been missing bomb loads, like the PBJ, getting corrections. Obviously, it's not just the PBJ that gets it now. But, thank you, Gaijin. Now, give me my H files under the wings. That's all I'm asking for. So now I'm going to use the B-17G20 or G-60VE for our next example, because we need to talk about the armor-piercing bombs. So of course, armor-piercing bombs are more going to be for naval, and I do like that we're getting this now. The problem is, I think this is a bit. What's the word I'm looking for? I think this just isn't the way to go about it. What I mean. I don't think the armor piercing bombs are a bad addition. I'm not saying that. I actually think they're a good addition because they help out against the naval and they are useful for naval matches. The problem is, is that naval needs a lot of things changing before I can seriously consider like actually wanting to play naval more often than I do. And I play it once in a blue moon. The simple fact is, is yes, these armor piercing bombs are going to help out. Because obviously conventional bombs don't really have the penetration to do what you might think. But the thing is, is that anti-aircraft in naval is absolutely busted. Combined with the fact that these, from what I've seen, these bombs, whilst they are good, they don't always one-shot. Which, fair enough, if, you, if you're aiming at a ship, you're never going to one-shot it all the time. But the fact is, is that... <sighs> You know, it's it's just one of those things where this should have been added a while ago. But the thing is, is that some vehicles have had this lock behind a manual upgrade. Now, obviously, you don't always have to do it. I had to do it for the Wellingtons. I had to do it for the Hampton. I had to do it for a few others. But otherwise, for things like the B-17 and the um, and the years and things like that, I didn't have to do it because obviously I already had them spaded. But this just adds another layer of grinding for people to spade these vehicles if they haven't done them already. So I'd have rather have seen them put it into one module. I think this just makes it so that we don't have to re-spade. Or like people who are spading those vehicles at the time, because there's a massive list. It just makes it a lot easier for them. But of course the bigger bombs, like these 1600 pounders... These are probably going to be used a bit more. But the problem is, is that the Russian armor-piercing bombs, which I'll quickly grab us up a Russian aircraft that can carry them. So I think the year, the later diesel years get them. Yes, it is the later diesel years. So if we take a look, you can actually see the Russian bombs have much better penetration statistics. They have much bigger explosive statistics. And to me, that just... Doesn't seem right. Like, why are the American bombs looking so weak in comparison? Like, I'm not saying that they are weak. They're not. But, like, this just doesn't sit with me. Like, it seems to me like they're just trying to, like, give Russian aircraft bombs, which, I mean, realistically, you're not going to be carrying these in a year. But 
the the point is is that to me this just doesn't sit right with me and I don't know what do you guys think let me know in the comments but to me I just don't think that these armor piercing bombs are done correctly I think this was a rush job obviously they've done changes to like the raw penetration so like it will pen the target now which is good that's a good change but to me I just don't think this was a needed addition now this should have been done a while ago, same with EFS, obviously the EFS has already been done, but that's not the point. The point is, is that this should have been done a long time ago. The naval AA changes should be a thing that they need to focus on, because I'm sorry, getting aim botted from like 6 kilometers away, whilst the enemy player is just yeeting half your team, just, it, it's not fair for balancing, and they really need to take another look at it, but that's my opinion. And then we have these little armor piercing bombs, and seriously guys, why did you bother? Like, yeah, these have pretty solid penetration, but like, why? Like, I had to respade four Wellingtons to do this, like, really? Just, come on. Like, we, we don't need this. Like, I understand the bigger bombs, because obviously these are coming more useful in naval, but the small bombs, why did you bother? So, that's my opinion on that. And finally, I just wanted to bring up the SBD, because, well, this has had a 500-pound bomb added a while ago, but also it's had custom loadouts. So you can take exactly what I have here, you can have your gun pods, and you can have a bomb for doing some more work. Do with that what you will seal clubbers in 2.0 ARB. But that's pretty much it for today. I just wanted to like discuss the bombs that have been added. Obviously, the PBJ is just one example of vehicles that I've had changes and things like that but of course in the case of the b17 and the year they have had obviously armor piercing bombs added but to me it just seems like they're not finished fully so to speak with like raw penetration statistics um and it also seems to me that you know it's it it's something they're trying to do to make naval better but there's a lot that needs to go into naval to make it better so, let me know what you think. Is there any closet naval players that watch my channel, as I like to nickname them, as a joke? Um, let me know your thoughts. Like, if you're a naval player, what do you think needs to be changed? Because I certainly know, but I'd love to hear what you guys think. Anyway, I'm going to leave you all to it for today. Hope to see you all on the next one.